Okay, in our next unit, we're going to be learning all about triangles. So today, I just want to do a little bit to um, warm you up to just remembering how triangles work. Um, so the first thing is that we are actually only going to work with right triangles. So this little square right here means that this is a right angle, which means that it is 90 degrees. So every triangle that we work with is going to be a right triangle. And so this angle right here will be 90 degrees. We are measuring all of our angles in this unit in degrees. Um, that will change in coming units. Okay. Um, we are also going to generally use um, the same way of labeling our triangles every time that we use them. Let me just erase this 90 degrees. Okay. So we are always going to label these triangles. Um, the two acute angles, so the two angles in the triangle that are less than 90 degrees, we're going to call A and B. The 90 degree angle, we're going to call C. Um, so we're just to, always going to be talking about triangle ABC. Um, and I'm almost always going to use A, capital A, capital B, capital C. And then when I talk about the sides, to set this up kind of the same all the time and nicely on um, the side that is opposite capital A will be a lowercase a for side A, opposite B, lowercase b, opposite C, lowercase c. Now, no one ever required us to set our triangles up like that. Um, I'm just kind of showing you how I'm going to do it a lot because it'll just be often faster and easier for you to set your triangle up and follow along in stuff that I write or in conversation or on activities if you set your triangle up the same ways that I do. There's two um, triangle theorems that we need to remember from geometry. Now, theorems are a little bit different than properties. So in our last unit, we talked about a lot of properties. Properties are things that we don't have to prove. These triangle theorems, you spend some time in geometry proving that these things were true all the time. The first thing that we're going to prove, or the first thing that we're going to review, we're not going to prove it, is the triangle sum theorem. And all the triangle sum theorem says is that the angles in a triangle add up to 180. So the measure of angle A plus the measure of angle B plus the measure of angle C equals 180 degrees. So this triangle sum theorem tells us a lot of information about the angles of a triangle. The other theorem that we're going to use a lot in this Unit, which you have also proven in geometry, is the Pythagorean theorem. The Pythagorean theorem tells us that a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared. And that theorem is referring to the sides of the triangle. So we have one theorem that refers to the angles of the triangle. We have another theorem that refers to the sides of the triangle. What we're going to talk about a lot this week as we start this unit is how we can go between knowing angles can tell us about sides and how knowing sides can tell us about angles.